Welcome, and thanks for joining us on Real Investment News for your market open. I'm your host, Scarlett Vacar. Well, investors are returning from the holiday break to a full day of trading in the U.S. today. Most European markets will reopen on Wednesday. The Dow is currently up 18 points, S&P 500 down about 2, NASDAQ down 27. Gold is up 670 to 1282.10 an ounce, and oil is up 30 cents to 57.46 a barrel. Don't forget, folks, that U.S. retailers are offering some pretty awesome discounts and after Christmas sales today, both in stores and online. So if you got gift cards, now is a good time to spend them. And of course, for those of you keeping an eye on Bitcoin, it has shot back above 15,000. We'll keep you posted on how that does throughout the week. Let's focus on something more specific this morning, heading into the new year. According to the latest Bureau of Labor Statistics, average hourly wages for all U.S. workers in November rose at a much lower than expected 2.5% rate, well below the Fed's target of 3.5 to 4.5%. When you take that into consideration, along with the fact that home prices are rising, you have to take a step back and really look at how the economy is doing right now, and of course, where we are headed. The latest case Shiller data shows every metro area in the U.S. saw home prices grow at a higher rate, while 16 of 20 major U.S. cities experienced home price growth of 5% or higher, double the average wage growth. With home prices growing at a much faster pace than wages, homes are becoming increasingly more unaffordable. Affordable. Zero Hedge has a great report out with two very compelling graphs worth taking a look at right now. In this one, real estate expert Mark Hansen shows how much household income increase it is needed to buy the median priced home in the U.S. in any U.S. city. Obviously, the greater the percentage you see here, the greater the gap is between household income and wages in these cities. Los Angeles and San Francisco being some of the worst, while St. Louis and Minneapolis are on the lower end, but still in need of some increases there. The next chart shows the divergence between actual household income and the income needed to buy the median priced house. So in reality, this is where we are at. Take a look at this. Go to our Facebook page, go to our Twitter page. We've got some more reports coming up for you here in the next couple of hours, in the next couple of days. We hope you had a great Christmas break. We'll be back here for your mid-morning market report in just a few.